In 2021, Indian Motorcycle reimagined the iconic Indian Chief. Now, three renowned custom builders are showcasing the Indian Chief's virtually unlimited possibilities to make it your own. My name is Nicholas Holt. Uh, I've been acting since I was five. I did my first professional job, I guess. I did my first play when I was three, so I'm 31 now, so however many years that is. But I think that really the, the variety is kind of what is entertaining and exciting about this job for me and finding new characters and new new styles. So it's very much about that, keeping it guessing, because you know, there's people once once you've done one thing and it's kind of worked, people want to pigeonhole you into keeping doing that. So for me it's kind of like making the bold choice of, of doing the opposite of what people expect, I suppose. I've always been interested mechanically in things. My dad used to build cars and things, so that, that's always been a part of my life. But motorcycles, I didn't grow up around. That came later. I was doing a, a film called Young Ones in Africa. Around the same time as doing Mad Max, actually, those films kind of backed onto each other. And the character in both of those films had to ride a motorcycle, so I was like, okay. Before I got started on those, I went out and started riding bikes in London a little bit and got my, got my license, and, and it was just something that I instantly loved. But yeah, like the main form of transport, like, Getting around, if, if in LA or in London, I find you know, yeah, the best way to get around and something that I love, and then try and develop my riding to become better at it. You know, whether it's doing some on-track riding, I tried flat track, it was terrible at it, not for me. I'll try again at some point, but just do yeah, doing a little bit of motocross off road or supermoto. Try it all to improve my abilities, I guess, as a rider. My makeup artist on on X Men, Scott Stoddard, he he's an incredible painter and artist, but also builds custom bikes. So I'd see the bikes that he was working on and, and kind of developed a love for those and then he introduced me a little bit to, to Go's work. It came about again through my friend Sean who, who mentioned that Indian were going to kind of do some of these custom bikes and then he mentioned that one of the builders was, was Go and I was kind of like, okay, incredible. <laughs> you know, that aesthetic was something that I've always been drawn to with bikes, the kind of minimalist, clean, but also kind of reused and not necessarily completely modern, so very functional at the same time. When he imagines a bike and sees it and creates it, there's something about what he what he creates that speaks to me, it just clicks and aesthetically. Ah, hey! Hey man, so good I'm to go. meet you. Nice to meet hey, you. It's a pleasure to meet you man, yeah. real honor like. Okay, let's go inside. How's your day going? Good, yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm great man, I feel like it's Christmas or yeah. something, you know? So you've, you've been customizing Indians for a long time now, huh? Yeah. These are all beautiful. Um, this is beautiful set up in here. It's got a Whoa. Oh, <laughs> damn. Let's give me a hug. That's Thanks. incredible. Man, I'm speechless. This is wild. I can't believe it. It's just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I can't get over it. I mean, I'm really like speechless and blown. I feel like moved <laughs> to my to my core, where I'm like, ah, and, uh, you know, when people say like, no, this never happens to me. I'm like, this never happens to me. This is wild, and I'm I'm gonna. I promise to take great care of it and treasure it forever. I love it. Obviously, like the the tiny things, like the the penny on the foot peg, and like on top of the headlight, there's another co old Indian coin. The seat is a classic. The rear fender. There's all these tiny little details that make it so personal and, and beautiful, but just blended together perfectly. suddenly feel out in the elements way more than you ever do in a car but you kind of just lose yourself in it and also I find it's quite a nice time just to be alone by yourself inside your helmet where you just kind of get to be alone with your thoughts. Custom is over. This bike is very simple. I really like it. And the best thing is to ride it. The power and the power is very important. The power and the power is very important. When you're building motorcycles, it's different because it's you in a workshop and it's your vision completely in your head. Making films, you're there and you're a small part of a big machine that's going on and you just want to work with the best artists and hopefully create the best stories. And that's what, you know, this bike to me has a great story. Go building it, the Indian chief heritage. It's all come together in a way that like it just speaks to me and makes it feel like we're in the right place at the right time. Yeah. 